Hello all and welcome to another Kevin and Entertainment video and welcome uh it's already with another Kevin and Entertainment video and welcome to the book review for Sherlock Holmes and the Three and Winter Terrors by James Lovegrove. Now this book is already different than most of um most of James Lovegrove's Sherlock Holmes novels. Most of James Lovegrove's Sherlock Holmes novels are one singular story told in one fluid motion. These are three short stories per se, a part one, part two, part three. Part two and part three are closely related, but part one sets everything else up. But they do have the running thread of dealing with the supernatural. So that is important in and of itself, is they do have a running thread that they all run with. The book is it is up to James Lovegrove's high quality of Sherlock Holmes pastiche, but it is at times a little bit slow, and at times it's deeply engrossing, engaging, and enthralling all in the same breath. I particularly like the short stories in part two and part three because they were connected, they did play a part, even though they were tangentially connected, they were two different stories, but they dealt with some of the same characters in part two and part three, and that's what made it a, a cohesive narrative for me. Uh, part one was more of a sidestep, side off um, kind of read, which I'm not saying is bad, but it's not good at the same time, uh, even though it did lay the foundation and lay the groundwork for the works to come behind it. And it definitely laid in the three winter tears because it's three parts, one, two, three. Each part is a different winter tear, of course. Um, and Love Grove canonically sets them in the canon in different spots in the canon where there are absences in the canon. Uh, he's a good steward of the canon in that way. He's a good writer. He gets homes, gets watching gets their playfulness, their fragility of each other, their love for each other, and their disdain for each other on some level too. And I don't mean disdain of they can't stand each other, but there's certain aspects of Holmes' character that that Watson can't stand, like his drug use for one, his pomposity for another. And there's certain aspects of Watson character that Holmes can't understand and can't uh, fathom at times. And that's his ineptitude to see fully what's right in front of him. He knows he's a smart man, for God's sakes, he's a doctor. But to Holmes, he has ineptitude for seeing obvious facts. But you do see their brotherhood on display too. So you see the love and the angst and the disdain for each other. It's much a brother-brother relationship, I would consider it. A best friend or a brother relationship. And Watson and Holmes are truly best friends. I would go so far to say they may not be biological brothers, but they're certainly brothers in arms. And Love Grove plays on that very well and very succinctly and very tightly which I like that very much and that thread is c consistent and cohesive through all three of the three winter tears. Like I said the first story kind of drags on a little bit it kind of doesn't play well a little bit but it's nonetheless still good in the end and lays the foundation for what you are to have to come. Now the last two, the two that are connected via characters, not so much via the cakes solving mechanisms and what happens in the cases, but they're connected via characters other than Holmes and Watson, because each Holmes and Watson story has Holmes and Watson. I, wa I want to state that so nobody states, states that. Um, but they are they are unique they are succinct and um but they are connected in a very fine subtle way that love grove gets and passes off 
in the perfect way. In my own scale, it's a read it, own it, love it. It's perfect Holmes pastiche. It's more Holmes when you always want more Holmes. We can never have enough Sherlock Holmes. And this is indeed more Holmes when we need more Holmes. On the Goodreads scale, however, I give it a 4 out of 5. It is not, it is great. It, it is above average. It is good. Um, it is even great. But it's, it's not exceptional. I think the first one kind of just slows its pace down. But I do love that he ties it into a nice narrative. I, but like I said, I think he has a hard time finding his footing in the begin, beginning of the book. And if I'm to be objective with it, which I always try to be... Uh, that for me dings a, po a star off the Goodreads tale. But four stars is still a really good score and it's still a really readable book. It's still a really worth it book in my opinion. So with that said, let me know in the comments down below if you have read any James Lovegrove, Sherlock Holmes or James Lovegrove Grove and the Three Winter Tears, uh, Sherlock Holmes and Three Winter Tears this book. Let me know what you thought of it. Try to keep it spoiler free for those down in the comments. Because I want to give people a chance to read it if they want to read it. But with that said, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, the game's afoot. I'll see you again soon. And peace.